I think we signed Telang Gobeni, he's a brilliant goalkeeper. Um, was at Sundowns, loaned out, loaned out, loaned out, eventually went to Free State Stars, loaned out. Um, I think that was their best season. They won the cup and they ended uh, sixth on the log. And unfortunately, they couldn't resign him again, you know. And then he went back to, uh, to uh, Sundowns and um, there's, they, they've got what they call a, a suspensive clause. Whereas when you go to them, if you sign a three-year contract, it only counts when you're with them. So when they loan you out, it doesn't count. So you can stay at them for 10 years, you know. Um, so Teller opted in saying that, look, I'll rather stay, if I, even if I don't play. And um, Teller is not where he's supposed to be. You can't, you, you, you cannot, you cannot not be playing football at the highest level for three, four seasons. You can't. It takes you another season to get back, to get back. So we think Teller is not at his best, but he's so quality that we believe that in the next season, Teller will be on top of the lock. He'll be one of the best goalkeepers in the country. He'll challenge for Bafana Bafana, because now suddenly he's in an, in an environment where he knows he can get better and better and better and better. And he's free, he can play, he can go on. But he's got stiff opposition from Marlon. He's uh, Marlon Yu. He's got stiff opposition from um, Greg Tafia, who hasn't conceded a goal in, um, <laughs> in, uh, in pre-season uh, friendlies. He hasn't. Greg, 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 Greg Itafia. He has not conceded a goal in pre-season. He's been phenomenal. The hunger, the man that's there, and when Capini went for an operation, we needed somebody, and he was there. And then we, we, we signed him, so he's there. And um, watch the space. He's, he's there to push uh, Capini, mm -hmm. he's there to push um, Teller, he's there to push Marlon. And it might, might sound as a joke, guys, but he's incredibly doing well. Oh, Ramagala is a natural leader. And um, he, he, he's a good human being. So what he does is he motivates the other strikers. He says, even if I'm on, on, on the bench coach, push the other strikers. I will work hard, I will fight, and I'll show them. So he's a blessing in disguise. He's, he's like Bevan Fransman. He's a blessing in disguise.